Log recording, 8.59 in the morning, West Coast time, still to count down until tonight, midnight for Halloween. Then after that, it's the holiday season. My last video, I was trying to explain a few things concerning about human nature and animal code, man code, and holiday season that depresses the crap out of me. I jumbled things around a bit. I was trying to show to myself that something. I was trying to show the reasons sometimes why I'm one way or another and uh, how I am not celebrating Halloween as much or trying to put his emphasis in the thing like everybody else can uh, and does. Because right now I am still coping and dealing with what the hell's going on. Season still scares the hell out of me. We still got murder and death and, and mayhem happening. And this is not the fictional stuff. This is reality. Haiti bans charter flights to Nicaragua. Oh, it just gets better and better. This is scary when shit like this happens, and we still don't know what the hell's happening anymore. I'm watching the news clips on uh, MSNBC on this one. So, I gotta listen to this. Oh, I missed that story. <laughs> and you're based out in Miami. Not New York. And they're coming up again with the Israeli war situation. Oh, anger, frustration. When they... Oh, shit. I just got to get the stamp thing off. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore. But there's a lot of people frustrated and anger. Trying to get their news across. That's for damn sure. Capitol Hill. People are talking about the war, talking about immigration and everything else going on. The reason why I kept saying to people, I can't celebrate this holiday season because... All the crap happening at this time, and it's forcing a lot of dark and ugly situations happening right now that I just am having a problem dealing with. I can't even look at myself in the mirror and try to enjoy myself as a weird-ass character. Because I'm usually coming down on this one. I know it's getting closer and closer to the holiday seasons where we're supposed to be sharing it with family and friends. I don't have family and friends to share it with. I'm seeing other people who are losing family and friends. And they no longer, there is no way to generate any kind of holiday spirit, especially when you have a war zone going on. But we're supposed to be celebrating it tonight with the uh, festivities of getting chocolate bars and wearing silly costumes saying trick or treat. And adults jumping around and acting weirdish like hell. As a kid, yeah. We didn't feel it. We didn't think of it. It wasn't happening around us. Therefore, we were oblivious to it. And so was the adults. These days, I can't feel it anymore. These days, in the last ten years, actually in the last five years, it's gotten worse and worse. I can't celebrate the holidays because they don't have any meaning right now, except to celebrate them in, in the form and function, but not without deep-seated meaning of them. A table laden with food and feasting while I see a war zone, people starving and struggling, and a strip of land that's being bombed the shit out of them. But I'm supposed to be okay with that. It's just on screen. It's not happening here. And it makes me feel guilty as hell on it.
people, if they'd raid this place, they'd get whatever kind of materials they would for survival, that's for damn sure. I can't celebrate a holiday season. I can't celebrate it in good faith because of all the shit I'm seeing right now as it is. I'm horrified. I'm terrified. I'm pissed off. Hold on. Emerson. So I have all these experts on here talking about this stuff. Which is good and, and nice if you want to put a nice clean face to it. Politics and bureaucracy. If this wasn't happening right now, if this really wasn't happening right now, how would I be able to act and react to this holiday season? Well, if, 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 if only, if only, if only. I could play the head games on this one. Doesn't change reality. I played head games all my life. While well, I was still dealing with reality, it still sucked on both sides. I could pretend I could be somewhere else or someone else and do things, but reality wasn't happening. Right now, reality is happening now. Thousands and thousands of miles, we're not even feeling it. We'll look at it with dispassionate eyes. We're looking at our at people across the water with dispassionate eyes. We make our own opinions about what's happening. Instant media coverage can afflict and infect and affect people like crazy. And it makes me it doesn't make me feel sad. It makes me feel discouraged. It makes me feel uneasy. As well it should. It should. Because all of this is making me uneasy. Doing this is making me feel uneasy. One of the rare times that I'm actually recording this stuff is making me feel uneasy. You could ask why. I could ask why. Because I'm seeing a facet of ourselves that you, know, you get numb to it for a while, but then afterwards it starts biting you in the ass again. And another part of you that tells you, don't look away, be a witness to it. Be a witness to human death and tragedy is one thing, but this, but the engine that started it, or actually the engine that continues it. And I have to keep talking about it. It's one thing talking about personal misery and depression and everything else that goes along about myself. 
feeling like I can't do a damn thing about what's happening in the tragedy except just being a witness. Listening to people as they try to explain it away, all this death and destruction. And what was it all about? What was it all about? Human misery. And agony. And not being able to deal with everybody. Not wanting to deal with anybody on the same level field. So much anger, so much hatred, so much history. It's almost impossible to get it weeded out. It's bad enough that I keep stretching it over here to the States. It's bad enough I have to keep seeing it in the States. I see my neighbors talking it out on social media, the only place they feel safe about. They don't talk about it in public. If they did, it could be a, a mini war zone right there. I'll hear the leaders complaining about it, but they don't do a damn thing. I see people struggling for survival. How can I have feelings about this damn holiday season when I'm seeing people killing themselves or getting killed by others? Feeling the anger, feeling the hatred, feeling the frustration, feeling everything else going on inside of them. You can see it in the faces, you can see it in the eyes and the body stances. They want answers. And the thing is, they got to look at themselves in the mirror on that one. Allowed us to ourselves. We want to talk about celebrating monsters on a holiday season like this? A theoretical human holiday? Look at yourselves in the mirror. We're all monsters. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I'm a monster for watching it happen. I'm allowed. I um, don't even have the power to do anything about it to stop it. So I have to be witness to it, like everybody else does. I have to tell the stories. We have to show and prove. We have to remember for them. Listen to both sides of the argument being spilled out by people and by so-called experts. And how I feel afterwards. I don't know. Is there any hope left? Is there any faith left except being angry? Angry all the time. It's worse than putting on a comfortable t-shirt. It becomes skin deep and becomes bounded to your bones. Passed down from generation to generation. They ask themselves why. They ask. They want retribution. They want hurt people as much as people have hurt them. And they don't understand why. They don't want to know why. They just want to react. We can't give it to them. We can't give it to them. We can't give it to them. How the hell am I supposed to be able to react to this shit? How am I supposed to be able to deal with this crap? I'm looking at it on a constant basis and I can't get it. I don't understand it. I'll have the psychological <laughs> community out there who are going to try telling me otherwise. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the Kool-Aid. I'm not drinking the damn Kool-Aid at this point over here. 
I'm just as frustrated and stressed out on this damn thing like anybody else would be if they were sane. And I keep questioning my own damn sanity at this point. Whether or not if I'm completely human and normal for this. I'll hear the psychological crap going on with my with my therapist. But I doubt that she'd be able to get a handle on this damn shit. Oh, she'll try to give me a con job on that one. I know she will. <coughs> she'll ask me, what do you think about this? I'm thinking that we're in for it. I'm thinking we're so screwed we don't even realize it. I'm thinking that whatever we're going to do next, measured and gated otherwise. ACDC sings about the highway to hell. Well, shit. We've been living there and didn't even realize it. It only causes me more death and misery. Because we can't get our, our fucking acts together.